Hello students, welcome back to paper 5, Taxonomy and Economic Botany classes. This paper is for 5th semester BSc students under Bangalore Central University. So, let's start. We will be talking about the salient features of the family named APSC. This family is also known as Umbelliferi. It is an important member of Metaclamidae. Now, before we start, we first must know what is Metaclamidae. Metaclamidae is a group of dicotyledony that comprises of plants bearing flowers with fused or united petals. That means what? The petals remain united. The learning objectives will be to study the distinguishing features, locally available species and economic importance of the family. And the outcome of learning this is that the students will be familiar with the unique characteristics and economically important plants under this family and they will acquire the skill of identifying and assigning plants to the respective families. So let's start with the systematic position of APSC. It belongs to the class Dicotyledony, subclass Archiclamidae, order umbelliflore and finally the family is APSC. This family is also known as celery, carrot or parsley family and is the 16th largest family of flowering plants. APSC was first described by John Lindley in 1836. Now it includes 295 genera and 3000 species. In India, the family is represented by 200 species and 50 genera distributed almost throughout the world except the Arctic regions. Okay, in the Arctic regions, the umbelliferian members or members belonging to APSC are usually absent. Now we'll start with the salient features of APSC. We'll start with habit. The plants are mostly herbs, which may be annual in case of centella, biennial or perennial, rarely shrubs with aromatic odor due to the presence of oil ducts. We all know these plants are herbaceous in nature. Shrubby nature is very rare in this family. Okay, And they are aromatic herbs. Why they are aromatic in nature? Because of the presence of oil ducts in them. Now coming to the roots. The members normally have tap roots, branched, sometimes swollen for the storage of food materials as seen in carrots. Next, the stem is erect or prostrate, climbing in pseudocarum swollen nodes sometimes ridged usually fistular glaucous or glabrous the leaves are colline and ramel radical in young plants of docus usually extipulate that means what stipules are absent extipulate though they are stipulate in centella stipules are present in centella alternate opposite 
in some species or APS drum. Simple or much dissected, often decompound in coriander. Petioles are present. Petiole usually sheathing in nature at the base. See, this is very important. The petioles are sheathing at the base. The petioles are sheathing in nature and are found at sheathing at the base. Venetian reticulate unicostate in centella and multicostate in astrantia. Parallel in eryngium and acephyla. Palmately lobed leaves in sanicula. Please learn the names of these examples very well. Then we'll talk about the inflorescence. The inflorescence are often simple or compound umbels surrounded by thin leafy bracts called involucre. In some reduced to, in some, uh, the inflorescence is often reduced to single flower. Example in some species of centella and azorella and to a compact head in eryngium. The flowers are pedicellate. That means the flowers normally bear a stalk to it. The flowers are pedicellate, bracteate in centella. So the flowers can be either bracteate or ebracteate, bracteate in centella or ebracteate in funiculum. Perfect, complete, actinomorphic and in some zygomorphic due to the enlargement of the outer petals of the marginal flowers of the umbel in coriandrum. Hermaphrodite, that means both the sexes are observed. Fine. Pentamerous, epigynous, disc present. In Echinophora, each umbel has a central female flower surrounded by male flowers. It means what? The female flower, alright, the female flower is at the center and is surrounded by male flowers at the periphery. In Arctopus and Acephyla, the flowers are fully dioecious in nature. In Astrantia, an intermediate condition is observed. Sepals in Calyx, sepals are five in number. We had just talked about its pentamerous nature. Okay. They are gamosepalous. Small teeth or scales are absent. Fine. Adnet to the ovary. Estivation is valvate and are green in color. Coming to corolla, petals are five. I mean five petals are observed. Polypetalous, epigynous. The tips are inflexed. Please note the tips of the petals are inflexed. Estivation is valvate, imbricate and they are colored. The flowers are colored. The, corolla, the petals are colored. In coriandrum, petal lobes are usually, uh, they are equally keeled in central flowers and unequally keeled in zygomorphic flowers. Coming to androecium, stamens are five in number, polyandrous inserted under the disc. Where are they? They are inserted under the disc. Anthers are dithecus, versatile in trores, filaments are long, equal in length, bent in the bud but ultimately they spread out. Now gynoecium, it is bicarpillary in nature, that means two carpels are there, bicarpillary in nature, syncarpus, inferior, bilocular with a single pendulous ovule in each locule. Anteroposteriorly placed 
placentation is exile and two styles are there with two stigmas on the top of the ovary and epigynous glandular stylopodium is present the fruit in apsc is seizurecarpic pramocarp which splits into two one seeded mericarps which are attached to a slender often forked axis the carpophore mericarps are longitudinally ridged in between the ridges are the furrows having oil ducts or vitae the seeds are endospermic with small embryo pollination is entomophilous due to nectar scent and protandrous nature of flowers please learn this floral formula which gives you an idea of the entire family please learn each of these symbols and their significant like this one shows actinomorphic flower this this means actinomorphic this means zygomorphic so please learn the letter codes the symbols everything in order to remember the floral formula now we finally come to the floral diagram this floral diagram is of paniculum vulgare okay this is the central flower which we had just talked about and this is the peripheral flower the central flowers are actinomorphic in nature and the peripheral flowers are usually zygomorphic in nature along with their floral formula are provided over here please do learn it up now let's talk a little about the economic importance of this family apsc rambelli ferry is known to have widespread economic importance okay let's talk about some of uh, the most important plants in this family apium gravulans this is used as vegetable its roots and seeds are used for medicinal purposes right the fruits are used for extracting valuable oil and the seeds are used as spices coriandrum sativum who doesn't know this we all know the fruits and leaves are used as condiment and spice right the fruit is used as stimulant carminative stomach uh, stomachic and tonic centella asiatica centella asiatica is also known for it's it's widely known for being used as vegetables as well as medicinal plants it is used to cure cholera or other forms of uh, intestinal illnesses madness and as medicine of few forms of leprosy anithum species the fruits are used as spice and condiment and carminative cuminum cyminum the fruits are aromatic and are used as flavor flavoring agents carom carvi the fruits are used as condiment stomachic and carminative docus carota the roots of this plants are edible i hope you all know what is this this is carrot paniculum vulgare are used as spice condiment they are used for the treatment of dandruff other stomach ailments like diarrhea perilla species is are species are also used in flavoring food products it also has medical application in treatment of asthma cough and digestion some species of pimpinella heracleum and 
angelica are grown as ornamental plants in parks houses and offices now it's time to recall the entire lesson and answer some of the most important questions okay what type of inflorescence is found in the members of apsc it goes without saying that it is umbel remember the name umbelliferi the other name of this family so you will never forget fine next see the nectar uh, nectariferous disc present at the tip of the ovary is called stylopodium the answers to these questions are all there in the slides which we have just discussed so before looking into the answers i would urge you to study the slides very well so that you can answer these questions on your own without any assistance the following type of fruits pres are present in apsc so your answer is primo so this is a brief summary or or else you can say this is a take home slide okay let's quickly just go through these ones plants mainly herbaceous either annual or biennials leaves are finely dissected and compound or decompound in many genera inflorescence umbel either simple or compound flowers are small and in some zygomorphic epigynous calyx gamosepalous in most of the genera stamens five with versatile anthers carpels two and syncarpus one ovule in each locule presence of stylopodium roots are simple primocarp these are the few references that we have used while preparing this uh, lecture if you have any doubts any confusion you can always refer to this or you can contact your respective teacher for these clearing your doubts so thank you so much for your kind attention